The mayor of Coeur d'Alene is resigning with two more years left on his term. Mayor Jim Hammond made the announcement this morning. Crim 2's Amanda Rowley talked with the mayor one on one today about his future plans. She is joining us now live from Coeur d'Alene. Amanda. Well, it wasn't easy for Coeur d'Alene Mayor Jim Hammond to make the decision to resign, but it's a decision that was encouraged by not only his family, but his doctor as well. When you've devoted your life to something, it's not easy to let it go. Well, I've always loved being a public servant. Coeur d'Alene Mayor Jim Hammond spent the past 50 years serving the North Idaho community. He's now decided to step down from the city's top job. Definitely miss you, sir. <laughs> oh, well, it goes both You're ways. To... He's moving to Colorado to spend more time with family. I think that uh, I didn't always devote a, enough time to family. And at some point, you just got to say, well, that's enough and, and move on. And that's what I'm doing. Mayor Hammond is about two years into his four year term, but he hopes to leave office with a legacy of fighting for inclusion in Coeur d'Alene. We uh, uh, welcome everyone to this community, and that's always been my focus. I, I wanted to have people always feel respected and that their uh, point of view should be heard. This isn't his first retirement. Hammond previously retired as the Post Falls City Administrator, as an Idaho State Senator, and then the Coeur d'Alene City Administrator. I don't think retirement means what you think it means. No, it, that's, you're, you're absolutely right. It's hard for me to retire, but uh, I think this time it's going to stick. He says it won't be easy to leave what he's devoted his life to. She's been great. Yeah, you've been a great boss, too. Exchanging busy days as mayor for quality time as a grandfather is a decision his family and his oncologist are thrilled to hear. Pancreatic cancer runs in Hammond's family. He lost his father and two brothers to cancer. I've had cancer since uh, 99. I've been very fortunate to have the medical care to uh, keep it at bay. After decades of devoting his life to service, Hammond is now ready to begin letting go and devote time to his youngest grandchildren. Now, Hammond's resignation will go into effect on August 31st. According to city code, city council will be tasked with filling that vacancy. Now, the person selected for that position will serve the remainder of Mayor Hammond's term, which expires in January of 2026. Now, that person can run for a full term as Coeur d'Alene's mayor in the next election, which is November 4th, 2025. I did confirm today, as far as council members go, with council member Gukin and council member Wood that they are not interested in throwing their hat in the ring. So we'll keep you updated on who does decide to uh, run for that mayor position. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.